Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Lisa. Together we are Fiagra Leatherwork. We started 18 months ago as craft workers in our cellar at home in Haslingdon. Since then we've grown a small business that goes out to country shows, motorbike shows and here today at Buckland Boots for a music festival. We specialise in making high quality leather products from scratch. We buy the skins, we cut the leather and we finish the whole job. We make it to your specifications with pride. Fear Gra is Scottish Gaelic meaning true love. The true love comes from the fact we're making the products with love for you to share with your friends or as a personal gift. Thank you for looking, enjoy the video. All our belts start off as vegetable tan leather. Vegetable tanning is an environmentally friendly form of tanning process rather than using a lot of chemicals. All the dye we use is water based, again environmentally friendly. After spending 20 years in conservation, that's keen to my heart. Okay, so we're starting off with a brown belt, everyday good quality working belt, available in black or brown. We can go on to an evening belt, ideal for a lady, it's only an inch wide, any colour available, and we can put a simple design in, just a stitch line or a pattern line down the edge. If you want something a little bit more decorative, we go on to a fully tooled belt, Again, it's all tooled by hand, a bit of intricacy going on to start with. Full personalisation. This one's branded with our own brand, Fiagra Leatherwork. It's all hand carved, about 10 hours work involved in that, and it's all hand dyed. Well worth the investment for a business. If you want something hunting, shooting, fishing, horse riding, we we'll cover most aspects. This is an embossed belt. It's then blocked out so that this, the pictures on the belt stand out in more, in, in more clarity. All the, belt, all the buckles that we use are also sourced from England, all made in England, all hand finished in England. Again, we're trying to keep it local, we're trying to keep it fully British. Quick demonstration, show you some of the trade secrets, not all of them, on how to make one of our high class belts. We start off we're using traditional tools. A simple head knife has been made used by saddlers and leather workers for as long as time can remember. Make sure we cut it square. We're going to use a square. I'm going to have to look at the job rather than the camera. And we just push it across and it takes a nice clean cut off. We've got a nice straight edge there to work with. We can carry on down the belt from there now. What we're going to do now, we're going to put that nice decorative stitch line down the edge of the belt. To do that to start with, I'm going to make, mark myself a line and also cut a line at the same time. Traditionally, this would allow the stitches to sit level with the belt, stopping it wearing and giving it longevity. Here we go. So you can see I'm drawing that along and as I'm drawing it along, it's marking a nice edge on the leather. We've got all our nice lines in now. Next stage, I'm going to use an edge beveling tool and what this is going to do is take the corners off the edge of the belt. That will be shown later when we come to polish the edge of the belt and give it that nice round effect. Here we go. And once again we're going nice and slow. Keep the work under control. So the last stage of putting a decorative edge on or the stitch pattern as we call it is using a, a, a traditional stitching roller. These would have originally been used to mark out the stitching lines where the craftsman would put his, his all through and then his needles to sew the pattern in. In this case we're not going to be stitching all the way down the belt we just want it for pure decoration so I'm going to show you how we do that process. 
So a little bit of pressure, gently roll down the line that we've just cut earlier on. And again, you've got to keep the pressure even all the way down the belt. Okay, we're almost there now. The last few stages involves putting the holes in for the buckle to sit in. It involves putting the holes in for the buckle to clip in when it's on your waist. And it involves the dyeing process and a little bit of riveting or press studs. So I'm gonna show you the basics on that. So I've got a template here, pre-prepared, that I use as a template for all my inch and a half wide belts. It shows me the tongue end and it shows me the butt end where we're going to mount the, the buckle. So using the template, carefully laid on the belt, we're going to first of all just put a dot in all the holes along that section. Okay. We're then going to take a pair of wing dividers, traditional tool, again used by many industries, and we're going to check those holes are exactly centre to the belt. Okay, we're now going to take a craft hammer, or a, a similar style to what the masons use, I use this for carving, and a simple hole punch. Locate over the top of the hole, one swift hit, maybe two, and we'll have gone through the leather. The big punch in the middle of there, just check that we've got the, the punch lined up in the middle, steady, we don't want it bouncing now, we've got it dead right place. I'm going to give that a bit of beef until it goes through. And there we have it. There we have it, ready cut out to attach our buckle. Okay, so just before we fit the belt, we're going to taper that edge down. The idea of tapering it, is so when it's folded over, you haven't got such a big lump sat against your waist. This machine is over 100 years old that we bought second hand and we've restored it nice to keep the old machinery going in our opinion so as we pull in the belt through we're going to turn the buckle at the bottom and just give it a little tug and as we turn keep turning keep pulling and there we go hopefully you can see from that there's a taper from there right through to the point okay so we've now got the skiving's finished, Lisa's just touched up the back and put some more dye on that just before we fit the buckle. That'll help protect the leather. So we're going to fit one of our two standard buckles. These are made in England at the only British brass foundry. It's owned by Abbey England and it's down in the West Midlands. We like to keep the stuff as, as traditional as we can so we support this foundry. Find them online. Final stage, putting the rivets in. Put the rivet in from the back to start with, through the back, through the front hole and then we're going to put it onto our anvil, small metal anvil and we're going to rest that into the second largest hole which is applicable to the rivets that we're using. I'm going to put that onto there, make sure it's definitely in the hole and I'm going to put the cap on. So lightly press the cap on initially, make sure it's seated properly and then we bring in a riveting tool and a hammer. Just tap away. And there we go, that's our first rivet set. Thank you for taking the time to watch, to watch our demonstration. Hopefully it's given you an insight into the level of skill, craftsmanship and pride that we take in producing your articles. As we said at the start, we make everything with a loving hand for you to enjoy. Thank you.